Okay. Okay, we're gonna uh, do the sumi off of the single leg. Okay, so your partner grabs a, a single leg. We're gonna defend this using the same attack we just did. Okay. Um, so the first thing I try to do when they grab my leg is I make sure they don't have a path to my back. Okay. So that means this hand, the one that's closest to them, is either gonna whizzer, or what I like to do is just put a thumb inside and frame like this. Okay, this is just to make it harder for him to like run the pipe and try to body lock me. You, you don't want them to start putting their head behind your back and hugging around your waist like that. Okay, so protect that first. You can either go here, just using your forearm like a wedge, or you can whizzer. Okay, so I, I like to go here. The next thing you're gonna do is take away the base they have on that side. So just like we drug the arm across, we were controlling the elbow. If you look underneath, no matter what configuration he has, there's gonna be an arm that would base if I tried to sweep them that way and it's gonna be this one. Okay, so I like to reach underneath and I grab the material and I pull it against my thigh. No matter what he has, he could have my collar, a lot of people will feed the collar grip like this. He can feed the collar, but I'm gonna make sure this hand can't let go and base when I go to sweep him. Okay, now I'm gonna get the same grip over his armpit and my leg is already in position. So this is gonna be really, really similar to the last technique, except he's much more bent over, so I feel like it's a little bit easier from here. I'm gonna hop around the corner, and then I'm gonna sit. And if you guys want, I know you guys noticed this when I was doing it earlier, there was a little bit of snap to it. When you sit, you can flick your leg and kinda of like guide them over, okay? So I can kick this leg that's hooking and help uh, propel them over, okay? So I control the material in the armpit, I control the sleeve, I do my hop, like that. I let go of the, the grip on the shoulder just so you can kind of see and my hand doesn't get trapped. But really like you would just pull and keep this grip. And you see I already have my leg over his arm so it's hard for him to turn away from me like that. Usually what they'll do is they'll turn in and I get this underhook ready like that. So now when I come back to side control, I've got both my knees like inside of his arm. He doesn't have a frame across my hip, okay? Cause I started here I get my underhook, and then I just put this knee on the ground. So if we rotate. So I just swept him over. I catch this underhook, and this knee goes to the ground. Like that. So this is a nice situation to start to finish my opponent, because I've already got his, his arm isolated. Okay, so I like to finish this way. All right. When you guys sit, your arms are gonna work kind of like how you did with the Tomonagi where you turn him like this. I'm gonna turn him with these this way, okay? So that's gonna help. So when I kick my leg and I sit, I'm gonna rotate him like this as well. So pay attention to my hands when I go here. I make sure he can't go to my back and grab the collar. Look underneath, okay, so he's got this sleeve. I'm gonna control, I'm gonna control. I get right in the material in his armpit. I take my hop and sit. I kind of emphasize this so you guys can see, like I'm kind of pulling his shoulder. I wouldn't let go. I would keep the grip and, and come up on top, but I want you guys to notice I, when I sit, I'm doing this. And notice my leg doesn't kick straight overhead. It goes like this beside me, here. Boom, because he's landing right here. And then I'm gonna be able to start to get up, put my knee inside and catch that underhook. See, I blocked the, the back take right away. Control, control. Just like that. Okay, one more. Okay, make sure you keep your knee inside like this. Okay, don't let him start to frame with his elbow in front of your hip when you land. Okay, you guys have any questions? No? Okay, let's try it. Just start in the single, start slow like usual, and then build up your speed. One, two, three. To sweep the person, you need to hop as deep underneath as you can. Okay, so uh, let go real quick. My, my feet, need to land 
like somewhere here. I, I always think about aiming my feet like behind their feet because they're attached to me. And when I hop underneath, it's gonna start to bring their, their weight over their head and like tip them forward like this. But if you land out in front of them, it's gonna encourage them to drop their knees, okay? So, if I hop like right here and I sit, sometimes they'll drop to their knees early and you won't be able to take them over. So you wanna to try to sneak underneath them. So I'm here, I hop like, see how much closer I get. And it's like almost effortless. Like you don't even need to kick or anything. They're already, by the time you get here, they're already falling forward. Okay, so go a little bit deeper underneath if you can. Okay, questions? Okay, uh, get your last two reps in. We're gonna probably start uh, sparring.